Hey everyone, you may have seen some of my other videos on mounting optics to your Beretta pistol. Uh, currently I have on here the Tanner plate. Uh, you can check out my videos on that. Today I have to show you the lowest mounting option that is available. I think it's just as low as a Langdon Tactical. And uh, that would be this plate here. Um, I'm just showing you what comes with it. You get your plate, screws, and a modified firing pin block that you have to install. And this is available from dlawdesigns.com. It's spelled just like this, with no space, .com. You can see that the plate comes unfinished. I'm going to try to put a finish on it. And you do have to install the shortened firing pin block. That's easy to do. I'm not going to show you how to do it because there's already a video on how to do it. I will link to it in the description. It's pretty easy. Basically, you would remove your slide and there's a roll pin here. Don't know if you can quite see it with the plate on. There's a roll pin here that holds in your firing pin block. You punch out that pin, the block drops out, you put in the new one, put the pin back in. So, I'm going to prep this, get it ready, do a little measurement to show you how much improvement you get, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so I've disassembled down to the optics plate here. Once again, this is the Tanner plate. And just to show you the, the height from the bottom of the slide to the plate, is about 27.9 millimeters. And this is really kind of as low as you can go without modifying the firing pin block. This guy here is the firing pin block. And when you pull the trigger, it actually pops up out of the top of the slide, which is why these plates have to leave a bit of space for that to go. That's why you have to replace the firing pin block with a shorter one on the D-Law plate. I'm going to try to coat the plate with this Birchwood Casey Aluminum Black. It's not paint, it causes a chemical reaction that turns aluminum black. So let's just see how this works. Seems to be working, but I'm going to get some gloves and finish the job. May not coat every little inch of this, but really most of it's going to be covered with the optic. So just want to try to get the areas that you'll see. All right, I've changed the firing pin block. You can see this one sits recessed a little bit, and that's good because the plate and you see I've gotten the edges there blackened. Uh, it sits right on top of the slide. Do you see that? There's no extra height added, so that, that's really as low as you can get. After I put the screws on, um, I'll give you a measurement. All right, here's the plate installed. Let's get a measurement. So it's about 25.3 millimeters. That's a huge improvement. All right, now we're mounted and reassembled. Take a look at this guy. Look how much lower that is. Still, with the factory sights, you're not going to get a co-witness, but you can actually put suppressor height sights on and get a co-witness if you want. They'll be pretty tall, but it's possible. And now the optic is sitting right on top of the slide. See? Doesn't get any better than that.
going to try this at the range and see how it does. I'm back from the range. I fired a hundred rounds, got the red dot zeroed. The plate's holding great. It's solid. There's no wobble to it. Uh, the gun's accurate. And I gotta say the, the sight, the lower height is a major improvement. If you fired dots mounted high over the bore, they just don't feel right. It's something you do notice. Um, you can get used to it, but it's kind of weird. And this one does not feel weird. So if you want one of these, they're $135 plus $5 shipping from dlawdesigns.com. And that does include your modified firing pin block. Um, and this is the RMR plate, but there are plates for really any of your major optics systems. Yeah, it's costly, but this is the lowest, best option you can get to mount Red Dot to your Beretta 92X RDO. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.